I just went medieval camping. This is what I brought with me and how I carried it. Coming up. <music> Greetings, fellow adventurers. Thank you for joining me today at my little camp. I'm gonna go ahead and break down everything that I brought with me, starting with my clothing. Now, garb starts from the ground up. So, my shoes today are these leather uh, modern hiking boots. These are from Thursday Boots. Then moving up, I've got on my leg wraps, over my hose, over my base layer pants. And I did this many layers because it helps keep my base layers clean, which is what I sleep in, and it also helps protect from ticks. The more layers that you have, hopefully the less easy it is for them to get to your skin. Underneath my uh, wool tunic here, which kept me very, very warm in the 50 so degree weather down into the 30s, I have my uh, linen undershirt and I have my hood. And I'm wearing uh, this bandolier, which I made myself, and on it are three pouches. In this first pouch, I have a small clay pipe, a little leather tobacco pouch there, and an even smaller clay pipe. In this pouch right here, I've got uh, gauze and a little thing for band-aids, but that's modern, so. And in this last pouch, I have a map printout of where we were camping, some rope, and a little whetstone. It's convenient just to have all of those things right there so I don't have to reach into my pack if I want to grab something. And I'm actually wearing two belts, and that is because the first time I ever went hiking in costume, the first note that I made to myself was having multiple belts is just a good idea. You never know when one might come in handy. So I have one braided belt, and that's what this leather pouch is on, and then I have my knife belt, which is a little bit thicker, and I can take that off if I don't need my knives on me at the moment. It's just good to have that versatility. I also have this bigger belt pouch down here. I've got uh, my lighter. I have my large cloak pin stored in there, and then uh, other modern stuff. So the knives I brought with me on this trip were this small uh, utility knife here. I use this for cooking and eating, and I also brought my sax knife. All right, so that was everything that was on me all of the time. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the other things and then get into uh, some of these cool items here that I have laid out. Lots of the things that I brought are not historically accurate. I will provide alternatives for people who want to know what historically would have been done, but this is really to show that you really don't need to wait until you have everything to go out and have fun in garb. And I'm gonna go ahead and write a nice list down for everyone of everything that I brought in a PDF format, and I'll drop that in the description box. If you're putting together your own camping list and you don't want to have to watch the video multiple times. So the backpack that I brought is a waxed canvas backpack, very cheap, that I bought off of Amazon. It's not historically accurate, uh, but I got it because it looks like what they used in the Lord of the Rings movies, and it worked very well. I turned it into a frame backpack by threading some sticks that I had seasoning in my garage through the top lashes and the actual shoulder straps so that I could hold this. Up on top, I had this modern single person tent. So if you were gonna go for a more historical or period option for your shelter, I would say probably an oil cloth is the most popular choice, uh, though I don't believe those are actually historically accurate to the medieval period either, but it'll be slightly more aesthetic. And I attached that to the top of my pack. On the outside of my frame, tied to where my camping roll was, I have this trivet. This is from the Townsend's Reenacting Company, and this came in very handy for cooking over coals. So another thing I had on the outside of my pack was my water skin. This is a modern uh, leather boda. So I had this uh, looped in around itself and then secured to the drag handle of my backpack. And I talk a little bit in this video here about why I want to carry my water skin on my pack and not on my person. My bedroll was this microfiber cloth, which you may remember from my previous video where I taught you how to make a basic medieval costume. It was used as a cloak, but I used it as a blanket this time. Inside of that, I had wrapped an extra pair of socks and this little pouch, my hygiene kit. And I have a toothbrush in here, um, a two-sided comb, so it's got the fine teeth and the wider teeth there that's made out of wood. Uh, I have a beard brush. I also have a little tin of beard balm, which could also be used as hair pomade in a pinch. 
And so the microfiber blanket was wrapped in the woolen cloak that I'm sitting on, which I also used as a blanket on this trip. I wrapped it on the outside because it is the most waterproof material that I have available to me at the moment, and I wanted to protect everything that was on the inside. So moving to the actual contents of my pack, on the right-hand side, I brought this little canteen just for a little bit of rum or whiskey, and I brought a funnel because those are always useful. Not historically accurate, one day they will upgrade. If you were to bring a small glass flask or a little leather flask or even something made from pottery, that would be better than this stainless steel flask. On the left hand pouch, I had my wooden pipe which I brought with me and I had my eating utensils in this little leather pouch. I brought with me one wooden spoon and one two-pronged metal fork. And I brought no knife with me because I already have a knife on my belt at all times. Moving to the inside of the backpack, I brought this little ceramic mug. I chose ceramic because out of all the mugs I have, this is the only one that can accept hot water. And I wrapped it in uh, this woolen cap and my woolen gloves just so that it didn't break in transit. And then I have these items as well, obviously. So most of the things that I brought with me are actually cooking related because eating is one of the most important things aside from shelter. So I have this wooden cutting board with me, I have a wooden plate and a wooden bowl. Now under all of that, I had this uh, modern water filter pump. Now I wanna live like a medieval adventurer, a Lord of the Rings ranger, but I don't wanna accidentally die like one. So water filters are important even though they're not correct. I also brought with me uh, this cooking pot set. So there's one pan and one pot and then the handle sort of acts like a little pair of pliers and can attach to each one so you can hold it. These are obviously modern. Again, if you were to go historically accurate, which I do not have the money for at the moment, you could go for pottery. That's probably the most medieval thing. Or if you want to be a little more anachronistic, in the Lord of the Rings movies, they had cast iron pots and pans. So that's everything I brought in my backpack and my bedroom. But I brought a second bag with me, and that is this uh, haversack. This is another canvas bag, modern. I got it from Target, but you know what? Better than nylon. This is actually what I carried all of my camera equipment in. Now that I don't have my camera stuff in here, I have a candle, a wool scarf, and another wool cloak. And I also have my uh, smaller haversack in here as well. So I am currently leaning on this bear can. I was able to actually carry this quite comfortably, balanced on the haversack over my shoulder. It, w it was surprisingly comfortable to walk that way. Most of the weight of the bear can just ended up on my shoulder instead of in my arms. If I had this as a barrel instead, it would be, it would be quite historically accurate, I think. And so we brought along apples, bread, butter, a nice thick slab of salami, and we also brought a bunch of ingredients to make a nice soup, including potatoes, shallots, carrots, onions, garlic, a bunch of spices, and for our meat we used standard store-bought beef jerky, and it actually was really, really good. Now when I went out, it got down into the low 30s and it rained, so I brought this modern sleeping bag just in case it got down into danger level temperatures. And I am securing it with another leather belt. And I discovered that it's very easy to carry something this shape, as so long as it's not too heavy, by threading the long end of your carrying belt through the belt on your waist a couple of times, you're able to carry a lot of stuff on your person. So that's it. That's absolutely everything that I brought with me. Hopefully I gave you some inspiration. So thanks for stopping by. I hope our paths cross again, but until then, good luck on your adventures.